prerequisites for performing an ortho rectification. Hyperspec needs to be installed on the operating computer. Spectral View, the application within Hyperspec, needs an operating license for ortho rectification. And finally, of course, you need the data cube. Double click the desktop icon to open Spectral View. Click the Open button and navigate to where the files are stored. The default directory is Headwall, Sensor 1, and then the captured folder. We'll use one of these three data cubes. Click the Select button. Notice this selects all the wavelengths in the cube. Then click Open. Once the cube opens, adjust the size for easy viewing. Scroll down to see the contents of the opened data cube. Notice the distortion in the building, indicative of an unortho rectified data cube. Notice that the ortho button is now active. Click the ortho button. The ortho rectification panel opens. Ortho rectification is a three step process. First, accept or adjust the settings. Second, view the preview. Accept or make changes as needed. When the preview is acceptable, create the cube. The pop-up contains the settings that were generated pre-flight. All of these in ortho can be adjusted. In this case, we've adjusted the altitude in the bottom left-hand corner. When the settings are acceptable, click the Start button. This generates the preview. Analyze the preview when it opens. When satisfied, click the Create tab and then the Create button. When finished, click Open. At the pop-up, you can select all the wavelengths. The red bar indicates inadequate computer memory. When this happens, click Clear and then RGB. Click Create Cube. When complete, the preview opens. When opened, we'll set the ortho cube next to the raw cube for comparison. You can see the building is straight and oriented differently than in the raw cube. Click the second button on the right. This opens the Headwall Polygon tool and overlays the generated cube onto a Google Earth image. When the Polygon tool opens, zoom out so that it is easy to see how the data cube fits onto the Google Earth image. If it does fit as this one does, then the entire process is done. 